so again the first os is back with a new update and it was kind of dead because the developer announced that they'll not release the top first os and everyone said the first os is dead but it is not the new version is out as in this new version there are new, no major changes honestly no major changes i found so far but i'm here just to tell you that this version is here with the help of some few things so i'm going to talk about some dub first os new things or features which you have in dub first os so that if you were looking to install dub first os you can give it a try it has the android 12 l easter egg of course let me just check it out if i try this android 12 l or yes this is yes android 12 l plaid logo is already added as expectedly by the way compared to android 12 easter egg i think this looks better it's just my opinion of course my preference but i think so it looks good of course we'll start with the default launcher the quick step launcher as expected is a themed one with the dub launcher which includes some few of the customizations for you for example if you move on to the miscellaneous section you have the grid for the recent app options available which is kind of expected so let me check it out as you can see it's there it's working perfectly fine as i'm using or i am using official version so if you're also using official version if you're using this on your device without root you might not face any kind of major issues so far if we move on to other things as you just saw app drawer some home screen customizations also there which are kind of common but kind of not so you can go and give it a try if you want to this is actually kind of with a shishu launcher of course which you have in rice droid we have the icon back support available for you too so yes you may give it a try for sure this was about the default launcher which you have with all these customizations and features by default available about this top launcher if you take a look at one more thing here google photos unlimited backup it's there and right now in this 2022 a lot of users were looking for this google photos unlimited backup that's already included so no need to worry about it by the way there's an option available if you don't need this you can simply disable that as some of the users don't use google photos i have noticed so far some of the users just don't use google photos at all you can disable that option it's up to you if you take a look at the battery options let me show you one through one two more things here for example you can check out the battery stats for the past 24 hours or the last full charge you also have the option for battery charge warning that's useful if you want to take a look at how much battery percentage you have you can simply play the sound at that certain level of percentage you have the block sensors option which might help you to increase battery backup and we have some idle manager options available too so in the terms of battery this might be very good choice for you you even you can even reset the battery stats if you want to if i move on to the wallpapers and style option i found some changes for example we have some system icon bags option available which is not available in all the custom rooms so far we have arches pavlova ui and dora and yes as expectedly all these icon bags are already there which you want to apply you can you also have some fonts customizations available in fonts customizations of course we have a lot of fonts available so if you are a customization lover the first OS might be a very good choice for you if i move on to other options here for example in security section we have the app lock support so there's no need to worry about app lock and privacy etc kind of thing security has almost has no issues for you by the way the app lock might be good for you app lock might not be good for you it's about user's choice but that is already included you also have the auto reboot option which is kind of really helpful if i move on to the general settings as i just mentioned the starting of the video about the google photos unlimited backup there's a switch available if you don't want that you can simply disable it you also have the option for charging animation as you as you already know that android has the charging animation about ripple animation you can simply disable that if you don't need it you also have the burn in protection alert side notification these are kind of real really useful we also have some few of the customization things as i just mentioned that dubfest OS has a lot of customizations and customizations which means custom monet theming is one of the things in customization especially in android 12.1 or android 12 as we have some icon pack customizations available for you with previews by the way if you don't know about these you can see the preview you also have some wi-fi icons signal icons customizations available here and there and these were things which you have here in dubfest where some few of the customizations include some status bar customizations for example in miscellaneous some logo customizations volti icon customizations etc etc some quick settings customizations by the one thing i have noticed there's a no quick setting transparency i can hope that in the next build we might see that but right now it's not there but other than else these were things which you have i've already shared with you all these things and these were things i just want to let you know i hope you like this thanks for watching and goodbye